Welcome to this week's episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Well, welcome to this week's episode of Jim and Java. I'm always excited to have you with me this week and every week as we address your fundraising questions and I am continuing to get more and more questions every week. It's exciting just to see all the things that people are doing, the efforts, the strategies, the uh, projects, programs to make a difference in our world and I am here to help you get fully funded. It's so almost overwhelming just to see just the relationships that are being built and that we are viewing, you are viewing this whole area of development fundraising not as a necessary evil, but you're beginning to view it as a way of connecting with your partners and bringing them together so together you can accomplish your mission, vision, and values. So it's so important that we see this happen. So let's dive right into our question of the week. Our question of the week is from Bob in Orlando, Florida. And Bob asks, what is the minimum that a president or executive director or senior leader should participate in contacting major donors? Well, Bob, thanks so much for that question. And interestingly, I just came back from a, a meeting high-level leaders within nonprofit organizations all over the world and development officers addressed these specific questions. Things like how much does your president, executive director invest in building relationships with major donors and donors together? And what kind of involvement should they have? How much should we expect them to participate in that? And I think it's a great question because the I mean, we saw that mileage very greatly. On one hand, the, the best example of a situation was that one of the key leaders in an organization uh, based in Dallas but all over the world, their leader, their president invests two days a quarter and just calls individuals all during that day, those two days. And what happens is that the staff chooses the individuals that are being called they do the research on those individuals. They get down to everything about the person, not just the giving, but last time you called them, you discussed this. Their son had cancer. Their daughter had leukemia. Their daughter was getting married. Their son was just starting Division I football at Iowa State. That's how specific it is. So that when the call begins, the leader can immediately say, hey, before we start, I want to just ask how your son is doing. I know last time we talked, you told me that he had cancer. And golly, I, our team has been praying for them. And that is legitimate. Even though it was researched, the leader may or may not remember, the fact that their entire team was praying for this son of the donor was very accurate and it was very truthful. So that is, was, is just an amazing thing. And this leader, uh, and if I said his name, you would know it. It's very prominent. He gives his cell phone number to people and says, you call me anytime. And he calls on the cell phone so that when individuals get, call, get a call, they know it's from that person. So it really is just amazing. And people are, are really blown away by the fact that this person actually called them personally. So that makes a huge difference. But on the other spectrum were individuals that their executive directors struggled to make any calls at all. In fact, they struggled to get that into the president, executive director schedule at all. I heard some examples of individuals who their executive director would insisted on calling on their cell phone while they were in a car and it made it very difficult for the staff to capture the results of those calls and the content of the calls into their CRM. On the flip side, 
one other leader piped up to say, well, we had the same thing happen, but we made our executive director commit to calling back on our standard line and leave a message, here's what happened in the content of that call. So on one hand, you had staff struggling with recording information. On the other hand, you had individuals who were making calls and were reporting back to. So I would just encourage you as much as you can to align your leader. That was the what we came up with in, in the ultimate was that it, the most important thing was to align your leader to the importance of development and relationship building with people and that people value that relationship. Our donors value that. They want to know that we value their gift and what a way for us to show that we value their gift by calling them. So Bob, I hope that answered your question. Thank you for that. I hope others of you who had the same question got that answered as well. Please, if you've got questions and we're getting a lot of them, reach out to me on Twitter at Jim W. Dempsey and use the hashtag Jim and Java or on Instagram also at Jim W. Dempsey. And you can email me at jdempsey0813 at gmail.com. And I would just appreciate so much if you are interested, please subscribe to this channel. There's no cost to you and it means the world to me. If you want to follow a group of individuals making a difference in people's lives, join our Life Changers group in Facebook. And as I say every week, I'm here to make sure that your organization is fully funded this year. And that's my goal, and I hope you have it. Thank you so much for your time, and I appreciate you. We'll see you next week, and I'll see you in the next video.